Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the effect of friction in case of Porter governor. So, let's get started. Now, here is the simple diagram of a Porter governor in which Porter governor is basically a dead weight governor. As we see here, a dead weight is kept on this sleeve and combined dead weight along with the sleeve is having mass capital M. So, the weight which is acting is M into G from the CG of this dead weight and this weight would be divided equally on both the sides of the center line. Then at the same time here we have a spindle which is continuously rotating. It is sensing the engine speed. Then we have the upper links which are connected from point O up to the center of the flyball. These are called as flyballs which are having mass of small m. Then the distance from point O up to the center of the flyball is called as the height of the governor. At the same time, since the flyballs are having small mass m, their weight would be m into g on both the sides. Since the spindle is rotating at a high speed, if the speed of the engine increases, then the centrifugal force would be moving away from the center. As we see here, it is mr omega square centrifugal force from one flyball, similarly from the other flyball. So, when the centrifugal force is acting in the outward direction, the flyballs would be moving away lifting the sleeve up and hence this radius of rotation will increase and what is this radius of rotation it is the distance from the center of the spindle to the center of the flyball as we see here and we are going to get different radii of rotation for different speeds because this radius would go on continuously changing now the effect of friction to analyze it first of all i'll say that when the speed of the engine increases then what happens so i'll write down that the condition is so if the speed of the engine increases in that case the fly balls would be moving away so radius of rotation would increase and that small radius of rotation i'll give it the notation as capital r2 so when the radius is capital r2 then speed would be denoted by n which is rpm that speed would be n2 at radius r2 now since the height of the governor is given by the formula h is equal to it is g upon omega square so the formula is basically g upon omega square into bracket 1 plus capital m upon 2m into 1 plus q now how this formula comes and how it is derived for that you all can refer my previous video in which i had provided the derivation or the analysis of the porter governor and the link of that video would be provided in the description below so you all can refer that and get this formula of h now what i'll do here is therefore multiplying with g for capital M and small m. In other words, I am converting the mass into weight over here. And now, as the first case is of speed of the governor being increasing. So, when the speed increases, the sleeve would be moving up. And when the sleeve is moving up, friction is always opposite to motion. So, when the sleeve motion, I will say that the motion of the sleeve is upward so the frictional force would be acting downward i denote the frictional force by f so when the friction force is acting downward it is helping this mg by 2 because it is acting along the same direction as the weight of the sleeve or we can say the dead weight which is acting so in that case the friction force would be added in this formula so therefore the formula considering friction would be h is equal to g upon omega square into 1 plus mg now plus the frictional force because we are considering the effect of friction divided by 2 small m into g into 1 plus q so from this formula omega square would be shifted onto the other side And therefore, 
omega which i am going to get here i am i'll denote it by omega 2 because it is at a maximum radius of r2 and where the speed would be n2 so once omega 2 is known we can use the formula that is from this i can get the value of omega 2 from this equation considering friction for the porter governor and if omega 2 is known from this then i can simply calculate the rpm by using omega 2 is equal to 2 pi n upon 60 unit of omega is in terms of radian per second so g is 9.81 h is the height of the, of the governor which would be known to us or we can find with the geometry capital m is the mass of the sleeve along with the dead weight g is again acceleration due to gravity plus f the friction effect is added because the motion is in upward direction friction is in downward so it is helping the dead weight then here we have 2 into mg where m is small m is the mass of the fly ball 1 plus q where q is the ratio of tan beta upon tan alpha and for that also you all can refer the link of the video which is provided in the description below that what is the meaning of this q so from this we can get omega 2 by considering the effect of friction similarly i'll discuss case second when the speed decreases so here we have case second in which the speed of the governor decreases so when speed decreases the radius would be r1 and the speed n would be n1 at radius r1 and for that i can say that when we look into this diagram now when the speed is decreasing the fly balls are moving inside because fly balls would be moving away when the speed increases because centrifugal force increases but if the fly balls are moving inside the radius is decreasing and that is due to the decrease in speed so when the fly balls are moving inside the sleeve would be moving downward so the next case is the motion of the sleeve is in downward direction so now when the speed is decreasing the sleeve is moving down that is motion and we know opposite to motion is friction denoted by f so when the sleeve is moving down the friction force is acting in the upward direction so now the friction force is upward it is opposing the weight which is the dead weight it is opposing to it so therefore in the formula of the height of the governor which i'll write it over here that since h is equal to g upon omega square initially it is 1 plus capital mg divided by 2 mg into 1 plus q so in order to consider the effect of friction now friction is opposite to weight so it should be subtracted so therefore subtracted from the weight not from the mass so mg minus f why it is negative because the sense is opposite weight is acting downward friction is opposite to it and similarly in the denominator we have 2 into small mg 1 plus q therefore again omega would be shifted on the other side g upon now this height i'll denote it by h1 previously also the height which we have got when speed is omega 2 height is h2 and here in this case when speed is omega 1 height is h1 because height will also change so now therefore by using this formula where we had considered the effect of friction omega 1 can be calculated and once omega 1 is known i can get the speed in terms of rpm so therefore i can say that once from the formula omega 1 is known that omega 1 is equal to 2 pi n1 upon 60 previously it was 2 pi n2 upon 60 so we can get speed n2 from here which would be in terms of rpm that is the maximum speed of the governor considering friction also called as the maximum equilibrium speed similarly from this we can get n1 which is the minimum equilibrium speed in terms of rpm because omega 1 would be known to us so in short that was a video regarding the effect of friction on the maximum and the minimum equilibrium speed for porter governor 
एट द एंड इफ यूल फाइंड माई वीडियोज हेल्पफुल यूल कैन लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड शेयर इट अमंग्स योर फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग